Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar, and today we're going to be talking about the cold-blooded perk, an essentially useless perk in past Call of Duties. And of course, in Vanguard, it's in the powerful Tier 1 slot, stacked up against crutch perks like Fortified, Ghost, and Ninja. In today's video, we're going to jump into a private match, test everything, and see if cold-blooded is viable in Tier 1. Now, if you guys find this kind of video helpful, remember to subscribe down below and let me know in the comment section which perk you'd like me to cover next. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. The in-game description tells us that with cold-blooded equipped, AI-controlled killstreaks won't target you, player-controlled killstreaks won't highlight you, you won't trigger high alert, and enemy awareness markers will only appear at a reduced range. We'll begin by testing Coldblooded's effectiveness against killstreaks. Sending out a reconnaissance plane. Recon against the surveillance streaks, the spy plane, intel, and local informants, Coldblooded has no effect, and you'll show up on the minimap at all ranges. Cold-Blooded also has no effect against the Mortar Barrage, and if you're within its damage range, you'll be killed. In fact, Cold-Blooded has no effect against any of the aerial AI-controlled streaks, and you'll die to the strafing run, the bombing run, and the firebombing run. Apparently, even dogs don't complain about a cold-blooded meal. Both the guard dog and the attack dog's kill streaks will hunt you down even if you have cold-blooded equipped. The only kill streak which is effectively countered by cold-blooded is the glide bomb, and with cold-blooded equipped, the red targeting box won't be visible and you'll survive most glide bomb attacks as long as you're not too close to unprotected teammates. Next, we'll look at how cold-blooded responds to high alert, and in this regard, it works exactly as stated in the description, and with cold-blooded equipped, you won't trigger high alert. Next up, the awareness indicators. In Vanguard, a red diamond will appear above an enemy's head as long as your point of aim is within the reveal tolerance area. Up close, this is a very large area encompassing most of your field of view. Once an enemy is beyond 18 meters, the reveal tolerance area shrinks and you'll need to be aiming very close to the enemy in order to reveal the red diamond. Beyond 50 meters, the red diamond will no longer be visible at all. With cold-blooded equipped, the close-range reveal tolerance will shrink, and it will be somewhat less likely that you'll be noticed by the enemy. Sadly, this is the only benefit offered by cold-blooded as it relates to reveal distances. Beyond 18 meters, you'll have the exact same reveal tolerance area, regardless of cold-blooded, and the red diamond will remain visible out to the full distance of 50 meters, with or without cold-blooded equipped. Even through cover, cold-blooded won't offer any protection and your reveal diamond will remain visible to the enemy. If cold-blooded wasn't already weak enough, even the night vision scope is unaffected when encountering an enemy with cold-blooded equipped. Well, it seems that Cold-Blooded, once again, is a very weak perk. And since it's up against stiff competition in Tier 1, it desperately needs a buff, completely removing the red reveal diamond and providing immunity to aerial killstreaks would be just enough to make it viable and possibly compete in Tier 1. Of course, this is all just my opinion, and I'd like to hear from you guys. What changes can be made to Cold-Blooded to balance the tier 1 perk slot. Let me know in the comment section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.